When you're mixing on an iPad, there's a few things you can do to improve performance and make sure you have a smooth mix session. One thing you can do is called track freezing. When you freeze a track with a lot of plugins on it, it can significantly reduce the CPU power required for that track. Most DAWs and apps have a track freeze feature, and Logic Pro also has an auto freeze feature, which will automatically freeze tracks as needed to keep your mix session running smoothly. Another thing you can do to improve performance is adjust the buffer size. This is usually found in your DAW or apps settings. Using lower buffer sizes like 64 or 128 samples will reduce latency, but it will cause your CPU to work harder. And that means you might have more frequent CPU overloads. Using a higher buffer size like 256 or 512 will increase the latency, but it will also let you use more plugins without running into CPU overloads. Generally, lower buffer sizes are great when you're tracking or recording because it will reduce the latency. But when you're ready to start mixing and using more plugins, increase the buffer size to keep your session running smoothly. I'm gonna set it to 512. Xbox for iPad is a zero latency plugin. This means it will not add any latency to your signal. So you can track with it and use it in real time as well as for mixing. Another performance improving tip, make sure to turn off input monitoring and record enable on all your tracks before you start mixing. This will make sure you're not using more CPU than you need to when you start your mix. One quick Xbox tip. If you're not using a module, you can turn it off, which will bypass the audio processing and also remove it from taking up any CPU. So if you're not using a module on a track, you can turn it off to save even more CPU. You can check with your DAW or AUV3 host app for more tips on improving performance. But these tips will go a long way towards making sure you have a smooth, efficient session.